Hey, what's going on guys? Elliot back from Movie Files to give you my review on the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, episode number 15, uh, which was titled Worth. So this episode is our episode before the big season finale, which we're getting next week, which is shaping up to be a pretty epic season finale with theater chains getting in, uh, in, in the theater and, and it being, you know, an extended episode. So we got some good things coming up next week. But on to this episode, my thoughts and feelings on this episode. Uh, overall, it was a good setup leading into next week's episode, which is the big finale. Obviously, the episode picks up where we see Negan, um, you know, comes back to the sanctuary. He, you know, we saw last week he had a little special guest, and we find out who that special guest was. But, you know, to start off with some things I liked about the episode, which was, you know, the episode started off pretty emotional. You know, we get Rick uh, reading the letter that he got from Carl, and Carl obviously kind of telling him about, you know, what what he was happy about in life and things he could remember, moments with his dad and his mom and birthdays and walks to the park and this, that, and the other. So that was a really emotional start for the show. You know, I'm just listening. As that moment's going on, you know, you're just looking at uh, Rick's reaction to this and him looking at, um, you know, Michonne and his, his daughter and just kind of looking at what he's built and the words that are kind of sitting in with him. And it's just like, I'm just thinking like, the you know, what Carl is trying to tell Negan and tell Rick and tell Michelle and tell this, you know, the group of people is, you know, we can obviously move on, we can live together, we can fight together against these zombies and have a better better life. But, you know, it's just like at the end of the day, you know that's not going to happen. So it's kind of like, it's kind of just making me feel like the whole death of Carl it was kind of a waste of thing. Obviously, we'll see how it plays out next week to see if Rick spares Negan's life or vice versa, whatever the case may be. But, you know, obviously we've seen that Rick has kind of neglected uh, Carl's demands of peace and happiness. Because last week, he just slaughtered men after they, you know, saved Rick's life, you know, almost you could say in that bar scene with him and, and, and Morgan. So all in all, again, the show started off strong and you get that emotional resonance. You get that emotional feeling with, with Carl, but it's just like, I'm just thinking like those words really don't mean anything because no one has been taking heed of his advice. So, you know, I thought that was nice how they brought that in. But again, I'm just thinking there like Rick's not going to listen, nor is, you know, Negan. So also too, which I thought was really hilarious was, you know, I, I'm not a fan of Gregory. Uh, the actor's fine. I've seen the actor in a lot of stuff, but the way he's portraying Gregory, again, not bringing in too much in the comics, but I know what he's trying to portray, but I, for me, it just doesn't work. The whole Gregory storyline and his cowardly ways and his things and whatnot. Anyway, his speech tonight was the best thing he's just come out of his mouth as far as like dialogue. When he just kind of was talking to Simon and telling him, I mean, he got the juice. Like, no, dude, you don't got the juice. I am the juice. I thought that was like one of the funniest things I've ever heard Simon say on this entire show. Uh, but I just thought that was funny. And that, that was like a highlight for me because I was literally laughing my ass off when he said that. But the big meat of the story of tonight's episode was Negan obviously getting the drop, getting the flip, flipping the game, returning to power. Obviously, Knowing that Simon was, you know, uh, double crossing him, obviously Dwight was double crossing him. So seeing that kind of play out was nice because, again, it's been nice to see some of the backstory with Negan. But it felt like the show was trying to make Negan more of a likable character and it's flipping Negan and Rick's kind of stance in the show. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? But at the end of the day, again, Negan is the biggest, the baddest that the Walking Dead has seen as far as the show goes and as far as the comic book goes. He's the big bad. He's the Darth Vader. He's the Joker of, of Rick. You know, he's the bad, the big bad. So, like, obviously, again, you know, in the last few, you know, the last couple seasons, in the last few weeks, we've gotten this humane side to Negan about Lucille and him and J Jadis having that little conversation and him sparing people and using people for a good use. You know, you obviously get that, but at the end of the day, he's the bad guy. So, I like how they kind of kind of made Negan Negan again. Like, this is the bad guy. He's going to kill. He's going to strangle Simon to death. He's going to make Dwight give false plans. He's going to, you know, do the things that makes a villain a villain. Because, again, it was kind of getting like, okay, what are they doing with Negan? Obviously, they want him to have these layers, but it's just like, at the end of the day, he's the bad guy. So I like how they kind of switched that and kind of put the ball back in Negan's court where it's like, yes, this is the bad guy and Rick and crew are the good guys. So let's establish the world that we kind of know as it to be. So again, I thought that was a, a really good moment where Negan kind of, he's not stupid. You know, he knows when people is back crossing because it was again, like the way Dwight's playing and I'm not a big fan of the Dwight character in general, but it's just like, you know, this guy is, is a double crosser. Same goes with Simon. So I'm glad that he was able to sniff it out and just be the smart, intelligent bad guy that we know that Negan can be. Uh, another character that I'm not a fan of, there's a lot of characters on the show I don't like, other than my main crew of people, which is like Rick, Michonne, Daryl, who hasn't gotten any love this second half of the season. Like his storyline is literally either being mad at 
Dwight or being just mad and just not having much dialogue or much to do is him ta tagging along with Rosita uh, and, and Tara. They, they just threw away their storyline for this second half. But anyway, um, <laughs> another character that I'm not a big fan of is Eugene. And obviously Eugene, I, I want to know what you guys think. And is Eugene definitely off the rail? Like, is he no longer part of Rick's crew? Or, you know, obviously you saw where his art kind of went in this episode. He kind of got oh, mad when Rosita put the gun up to him and said that his life is worthless. And he says, you know, those final moments that we get with Eugene is him at the table cutting the bullets. Can he, you know, because obviously in the, in the episode we saw that uh, uh, Father Gabriel, another character I'm not a fan of, was making the bullets, you know, d you know, not work properly. So I wonder, you know, is that the big thing that Dwight's going to be next week is going to be the guy that, you know, he's been making these bullets and they've been fake bullets and he's actually helping um, uh, Rick and crew out. So we'll see. At this point, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, Eugene and it's just like what side of fence he's on. I just, I just not a fan of the character, but we'll see what, what comes of Eugene next week. So again, um, you know, tonight's episode, again, if I were to <coughs> rate it, it was a good setup episode leading to the big finale, which as they're advertising it, this is the end of the war. So we're going to see what happens. I hope, I, I know that some people are, uh, that our fans of the comics and our fans of the show, they want more of Negan and, and some of the stuff hasn't been handled perfectly. But I'm in the camp where, and if you read the comics, I don't read the comics uh, a lot, but I'm familiar where they're kind of at with everything. You know, Negan has a big presence and is, a, you know, not giving too much weight, but there's a point where Negan and Rick, they're not friends by any means, but, you know, he doesn't kill Negan per se. So I just wonder where they're going to go with next week's finale, uh, if they're going to kill off Negan, are they going to capture Negan, put him in the jail like they did kind of in the comic book. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, I'm excited for next week's episode. What, uh, I'm in St. Louis, so there is a theater that's playing uh, The Walking Dead. I don't know if I'm going to get tickets to it or not, uh, or if I just want to enjoy it in my own home. I've never seen, like, when Game of Thrones at the theater, I didn't get the chance to see that. But who knows? You know, things might change. But I'm, I'm excited to see next week's episode, the finale, see where it all wraps up, see what we get. Uh, I would love to know what you guys want to see next week as far as finale. Do you want Negan's storyline to be ended by this end, uh, by this season? Do you want to see, you know, to see where things can go, see if Rick and Negan can coexist in the show? They obviously have kind of uh, strayed away from the comics, so we'll see what, what comes up. So I would love to know what you guys uh, want to see next week in next week's finale. So all in all, uh, I, I, I was pretty Happy to see where the episode kind of ended. Again, Negan being a bad guy. Michonne reading the letter to Carl. And, and Negan listened to the words. But it's just like, it's too late. I'm just going to take you guys out. So, you know, again, I'm just happy that the show is now saying Negan is the bad guy. Rick and crew are the good guys. And then we're going to come ahead next week and see the finale. So, again, guys, like this video uh, if you guys enjoyed my review here. Again, I was, thought it was a pretty good episode setting up to next week's episode, uh, the finale. But like this video, share this video, and leave your comments below, below on what you want for next week and what you're hoping to see next week in the finale. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching this review. Uh, it's been a fun time. I'm excited about next week's episode and excited to come to you guys with my thoughts on, the last week, uh, on next week's episode. So, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Twitter, like us on Facebook, it's all in the description on social media accounts, and I will see you guys next week for next week's episode 16, the finale of The Walking Dead. I hope you guys have a great week, and again, I'll see you next week.